March 30th. The end of the month is fast approaching as well as the end of the week. That flew by fast. Better get those lunch choices before that cries by too. Ella? Today we will be having choice one chicken nuggets, choice two taco salad. A delicious choice to fuel learning minds. We all know April brings showers and May brings flowers. What will the end of March bring? Anna, give us the forecast. Today we will be mostly clouds with a cooler temps expected in the low 70s. After yesterday's rain, today we will experience a high of 45 degrees, although those temps will be barely feeling more like 30 now. Thankfully, they should be warming up tomorrow. And th throughout the rain of the week's highs in the mid 50s, throughout this break, the cloudy skies and the air temperature should feel nice at least. Enjoy your long weekend. Back to you. Not too bad as long as we can make it through today. Reminders, Ella? Reminders for today. Grandparents Day and Summer School Forms are due. Turn in Grandparents Forms by April 8th and Summer School Forms this Thursday. Fifth and sixth grade J.O. Volleyball players will have practice tonight from 5.30 to 7.00. There will be no school this Friday due to teacher and service. Classes have started MCA testing. Please be respectful in the hallway. More updates on testing do come. We do have an update on this. Let's check out this brief report with a few reminders of what we should do to be successful on the test. <laughs> Today we have some test taking tips and strategies for you so that you can be successful on the test. When you're taking a test, no matter what type of test it is, one strategy to use is to eliminate answers. Some answers that are given on the test have nothing to do with the passage or clearly don't answer or solve the problem. So make sure to eliminate any answers to increase your chances of getting the answer right. Always make sure to take your time when taking a test. It's not a race. If you take your time, you will be much more successful. Another strategy to use is to go back and highlight the answer in the passage. This applies for a reading test specifically. Make sure to highlight the answer before you select it on the test. Finally, it is always wise to get a good night's sleep and eat a good breakfast the day before a test. Also. Burn off some of that energy by going outside and playing if weather permits. Good luck on the test, boys and girls. Thanks for those tips. We all want to be successful, and those were some great reminders for us all. Those not testing, make sure to show your pride and show your support for those taking the test. Great advice, Nora. I tried my best on other broadcast and books. Thanks for watching. I'm Nora. And I'm Ella. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance on the count of three. One, two, three.